How can we store CO2? Well, let's start in the north of England, where they're making building blocks with CO2. Yes, building blocks. It sounds unlikely, but they mix the CO2 with ash from a household waste incinerator. Making the blocks involves an awesome chemical process. Watch this. That is incinerator ash mixed with water. This is carbon dioxide. Here we go. Shake it all about. The CO2 has been completely absorbed and it's turned into a solid. Here's the chemistry on an industrial scale. Two wastes making a useful product. Here we're taking carbon dioxide, we're treating a waste and making a limestone. And there are other companies that are doing all manner of different things with carbon dioxide. In Suffolk, these mounds of horse manure are being turned into CO2 bubbles for drinks. The horse poo and straw mix comes here to these gigantic tanks. They're like large stomachs full of bacteria that gobble up the mix and produce two streams of gas. One of them is methane, that goes to heat people's homes and cook people's dinners. The other stream of gas is carbon dioxide, pure carbon dioxide, and they're selling that. Bizarrely, it's being bought by pubs to put the fizz into lager and lemonade. You can't taste it, of course. Near Swindon, they're making fertilizer with CO2. The first ingredient is this fibrous stuff. It's left over after you've put cow dung into a biogas digester like the one we just saw. This stuff is low in nutrients, little use for crop fertilizer. So the firm adds a liquid waste from the fertilizer industry along with nutrients and, crucially, CO2. Here's what you get, little pellets of top class fertilizer. What's most satisfying for us is to take a material like carbon dioxide, which is fundamentally useless as far as most people are concerned and positively harmful, um, and then transform that into something that is beneficial. These technologies won't solve climate change, but they will help a bit. Roger Harabin, BBC News.